We just had a major X-class solar flare, an X 1.1 from Sunspot region 4298, classified a R3 strong radio blackout event, which means it temporarily disturbed radio communication on the sunlit side of Earth. Solar ham also flagging the same flare from active region 4298, confirming the X 1.1 peak timing. On top of that, we're still dealing with the after effects of an earlier M 8.1 flare from region 4299, on December 6th, which launched an Earth-directed CME. Solar wind speed is elevated around 600 plus kilometers per second, which is pretty fast, and most recent X-ray readings are sitting at that C-class range between these bursts. Basically, the translation is the sun is active, the solar wind is juiced up, and Earth's magnetic field is getting leaned on. Our three-day geomagnetic forecast says the highest expected KP index is that of a 6 or a 7. That's a G3 strong geomagnetic storm between December 8th, which is today, the 9th is going to be the peak of it, and then the 10th it is going to lean off with the most intense activity yet again on the 9th when that CME from December 6th fully arrives. So yet again, we are going to see the disruption start tonight. The peak of it will be tomorrow. This is tonight's Aurora forecast. If you are in those mid to high latitude positions, you will be able to see the Aurora tonight. Come tomorrow night, you will also be able to see a chance of an Aurora forecast. During a G3 level storm, Aurora's can push down into those mid latitudes. So not just Canada and Scandinavia, but parts of the Northern US and Central Europe, they may have a shot at seeing those skies if they are clear and they are dark. Here are some possible effects during this peak. Power grid operators, you may need to run mitigation routines, high frequency radio and GPS can get glitchy or less accurate at times. For sensitive and star seeds, when we're getting those X-class flares and a G2 to do G3 storm potential, the collective nervous system system feels it. So you might notice sleep disruptions, super vivid dreams, pressure in the head, ringing in the ears, feeling buzzed, emotional spikes, old patterns bubbling too clear. You can support yourself by hydrating like crazy, higher pH level, water, something structured, electrolytes help, getting barefoot on the ground when you can, um, limit your doom scrolling right now and tuning into your body instead and then set some clear intentions i'm going to integrate this light in the gentlest and most aligned way because there is a storm brewing we do still have a high percentage chance of having another x-class flare from this region 4294 still in beta delta and gamma range high proton percentage still earth facing the region right next to it also the same exact thing throwing a percentage onto that x-class flare probability but we still Still have those massive regions that are still affecting Earth today. We do have a small coronal hole developing on the northern hemisphere of our sun. This will be Earth facing in the next coming of days. And due to that last coronal hole, we had another massive earthquake, a 7.6 near the Japan coast that triggered those tsunami warning. There are physical effects due to space weather, solar flares, coronal hole influences, geomagnetic storms these cause these earthquakes. So if you've been feeling extra wired, emotional, or wide awake at these weird hours, it's not just you. The sun is literally beaming extra light at the planet right now. I'm Sarah Starr here with your space weather update for December the 8th. Let me know in the comments where you are watching from. Drop your sun, moon, and rising sign.